<laughs> hey folks, it's Pizza Night in America. So I just want to show you my new tradition here. I've got my cast iron Dutch oven. I got a pizza ready to go. Got a campfire cooking. So this is just my homemade sourdough and those are fire roasted peppers out of a jar. A little bit of mozzarella cheese, a lot of spices, and of course I, I cover my dough with the with the oil from the sauce first. That way the sauce doesn't soak into the into the pizza dough and get the dough all oily, you know, all gooey or whatever. I like a good crisp dough. It's gonna be like a pan pizza, but it's gonna have a good crunchy dough, and that oil is gonna soak into the bottom of the crust too. So kind of like Pizza Hut. If you ever had a really good greasy pan pizza from Pizza Hut, the way they have all that oil at the bottom kind of gets into the crust a little bit and around the edge. Like even the crust is good to eat sometimes on, on a really good pan pizza. So anyways, that's if you like a good sourdough bread. Johnny's Pizza is another one we have around here. I don't know about the rest of the country. You guys are missing out. I'm sorry. It's mostly just in Louisiana. I think maybe parts of Mississippi. But, uh... Johnny's Pizza that we got here is the most excellent pizza. This guy named Johnny Huntsman, you know, started like I'm doing probably, you know, is like, man, I make a really good pizza. Somebody said, well, hey, you gotta start a pizza factory. That really took off, you know, college town, people started eating the pizza around Monroe, Louisiana. Next thing you know, Johnny's Pizza really took off around here anyways. Everybody that moves away when they come back, you know, like, ah, oh, you know, I don't really care about Monroe or going to NLU or whatever the college, ULM now, they call it. But, oh, I'll miss that Johnny's Pizza, though. Like, that's that and Ray's PG. It's like the first thing they, when they come back, they, oh, we gotta go to Ray's PG or, or, man, we gotta get some Johnny's Pizza. So, anyways, the only better pizza is maybe Geno's in Chicago, so. But it's different. It's totally different. Theirs is more of a thin crust. Uh, I'm doing, like I said, a like pan pizza. But the flavor, hopefully, is going to be sort of like this Johnny's Pizza that I like. And uh, so anyhow, I'm just back here. And this is my backyard. My junky old antique house. Got a lot of garbage back there. I'm embarrassed to show that. But sort of living in the backyard here. Treating it like it's woods, kind of. A little nature preserve and these huge pine trees. I really love my giant pine trees. So I hope they keep standing for a long time. They give me shade when the when the weather's hot. Like it's been. Anyhow. Well. Kind of this fire burn down just a little bit. This is really nothing to this pizza. You just whip up a sauce. And you put a lot of oregano and some chopped green onion, some red pepper, a little black pepper, a little olive oil. Cook it down a long time, a little salt, you know. Just make you a really good marinara sauce, or you can just use ragu. I like to use ragu sometimes. Just get the triple cheese or four cheese ragu or whatever they call it. Progresso, whatever brand you like. That's usually, usually the hunt sauce. And then you make the dough, just yeast, a little bit of sugar, and get it started. Add a lot of butter. I like to put a lot of butter, like a whole half a stick of butter in there, you know, and salt. Make sure it's got plenty of salt. Not too much, but, you know, a good teaspoon of salt or so. Then you make up your dough, you know, and just let it rise overnight or whatever or in the fridge, you know. Make it kind of dry. Don't make, you don't make a really wet dough. Make it kind of a dry dough. You want to be able to work it and roll it out really good and thin or press it out by hand. And then just put your, you know, oil at first. Usually with olive oil, I use the good, the oil from the sauce that I make. I let the sauce settle out and let the oil, skim the oil off the top of the sauce that I made. And uh, there's a lot of little tricks there that I didn't really show. I'm not going to do a cooking show, but I really enjoy cooking shows myself. And uh, I love to cook. And... Uh, that's why I wanted to show what I was doing back here. That's my neighbor's backyard over there, but I'm just, like I said, I'm just kind of in the backyard here and minding my own business. 
this is what I do every evening though. This is my little ritual now. These pizzas turn out perfect every time. 25 minutes. Just put in there, put some good hot coals on top. 25 to 30 minutes perfect every time. 20 minutes is not long enough. 30 minutes is too long. It'll be burnt. 25, 26, perfect. Every time. So, let's take this lid, brush it off, make sure there's no bugs or anything on the side. and tight make sure no ashes get in there's nothing worse than getting ashes on your pizza trust me that's a that's a crunch that you don't want on your pizza so then when that burns down in a minute I'll just scoop some coals over the top of this and we'll give it like 30 minutes and you just you just put a couple piles of coals I use that little scooper right there a little metal just a piece of scrap metal I use for a scooper pile your coals about an inch and a half deep over the top just kind of fill the top up about two little scoops there leave about a good inch and a half of coals underneath the pot too just set it on there and then you just leave it alone 25 minutes we'll be done homemade dutch oven pizza pizza night in america thanks for watching